Hey YouTube, Kiki's Connors here. I recently binge watched Rick and Morty. I became a really big fan of it. Then I decided I wanted something from the show. Prop. Replica. So I found this thing on Thingiverse by the user 3D Central VA. And now as you can see here, I've already printed out all the parts on my Peugeot i3 Mark IIs. I printed them all with inland PLA. I used white for the main body. I used red for the LCD screen. And also for the LEDs but I got them drying with green paint on them. I used silver for the LED sockets. I've already painted them flat black and at the knob. And then I printed that green glow tube with the natural PLA. I printed all these parts at a .20 layer height. I only needed supports for the main body and the tube here. Now I've already done a little bit of cleaning on it by exacto knife, but I still need to do a little bit of sanding. Now this particular model is not really supposed to be wired up to light up. There's no really any compartments or anything, so I'm gonna have to manipulate this model by drilling and cutting. I already got the slider switches, the LEDs. I'm only gonna use one green LED, the five millimeters, and battery holders and the button cells. So I'm going to sand it up, glue, and then I'm going to wire it up, alright? I got some 150 fine grit paper right here, so I'm just going to do light sanding. Alright, so I got it pretty much sanded down to the way I want it. Now we're just going to glue some parts together, except for the LEDs, because it's still drying. I use this Loctite liquid. Works very well. Alright, first I'm going to glue these two parts together. No matter what, it's going to have those lines, unless you want to get really technical with it. I, I printed it in white top PLA because I did not want to paint it. So, I'm just going to keep those lines inside there. A few drops goes a long way. Or this part is glued on, and like you see, there is gaps, but I don't really care. It looks pretty cool already. Let's glue in the LED holders. And that'll just stay in place as it is. And then we have LCD. This is actually going to be the compartment for my electronics. So I'm not going to glue that in. But it's easy to get out with a, with a little pin. There's a little pin hole right there. Alright. Now we're going to take the clip. And then the knob. I'm not going to glue this either. There we go. It spins. But the knob actually feels pretty good. Then we have the tube. Looking like Rick's gone. Just need to wire it up. Pull a diffuser inside there, maybe some cotton or something. Here's the finished project. I'm pretty happy about it. Could use some more cleaning up. Um, I did nick it right here when drilling so I could sand that out. It also seems I could 
fill those in, paint it, get rid of it if I want to, but I think I might just leave it as it is. Under this thick LC is where I hit all my electronics. There you go. Battery pack, battery switch, and there's a hole in there that leads right into this tube. When you switch the switch, it lights up. I got a little bit of cotton in there just to diffuse the light. Let's switch off the light just to see what it looks like. Ooh. Pretty awesome. All right, I'm done here. Got to go somewhere with this. But hang out with my pickle Rick. So make sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and follow me on Instagram. Post all my projects on there before it even hits YouTube. See ya.